So if you're someone on a busy schedule, it can be hard to find the time to cook and the time that you do spend in the kitchen can feel tedious and time consuming. So in this video, I'm going to share with you four really common mistakes that busy people make and what to do instead so you can make cooking so much easier and time efficient. So if you're someone who's always getting pulled in a million different directions, it can be so easy to treat cooking like an afterthought. Like it's something else that you have to take care of on top of everything else that you have going on. And because you have such limited time in the kitchen, it can feel like you're scrambling to throw something together all of the time. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make, especially people on a busy schedule, is not planning their menu in advance. A lot of people don't think that this is important. They don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but really, especially if you are somebody who's always getting pulled in a million different directions, knowing exactly what you're going to cook and making sure that you have the ingredients to make it makes all of the difference. Because when you do get into the kitchen, you're not rummaging around through your cabinets, through your fridge, trying to figure out what you can make, hoping some ingredients are magically going to appear. Really what happens when you plan your recipes in advance is you go in, you know exactly what you're going to make, you have all the ingredients, and it really just streamlines the entire process. And that helps make cooking so much easier and time efficient on an everyday basis. And when you do go to cook, you wanna make sure that you're not over complicating your recipes. So especially for everyday cooking, you wanna make sure that your recipes are simple, that they're quick, they're easy, and that they still taste great. And by using simple recipes, that's a really great way to help limit your time in the kitchen without sacrificing on taste. So my rule of thumb for simple recipes is less than 10 ingredients, not including spices, and less than 90 minutes of active cook time. So this is gonna help limit your prep work by limiting the amount of ingredients in the recipe and limiting the time you spend in the kitchen by limiting the amount of active cook time. So this is something that helps keep everyday cooking easy and time efficient without sacrificing on taste. Another mistake that I see busy people make all the time is picking the wrong cooking strategy for them. So when it comes to strategy, a lot of people tend to gravitate towards the ones that are going to save you the most time in the kitchen. And while this makes the most logical sense, it doesn't always make the most practical sense. So for example, if you're someone who needs a lot of variety in your meals, batch cooking all of your recipes for the week is probably not going to last long term. So when it comes to finding the right strategy for you, you don't just want to look at how much time you want to spend in the kitchen. You also want to look at, is it going to be a good fit for you and how you want to cook? And lastly, you want to make sure that you don't fall into the trap of making these same few recipes over and over again. So especially when it comes to busy people, it's so easy to rely on a few good recipes. They're quick, they're easy, you know exactly what you're going to get, but if you keep making those same recipes over and over, eventually your cooking is going to feel stale and boring. And one of the best ways to keep your cooking feeling fresh, feeling fun, no matter how much time you're spending in the kitchen, is to make creativity a habit to add in little habits throughout the week that foster you trying something new, whether that's a different ingredient, a different recipe, it doesn't have to be complicated, but you wanna make sure that you're constantly trying new things and keeping your cooking fun and fresh, no matter how much time you are spending in the kitchen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notified whenever I put out a new video like this. And if you're looking for how you can make cooking easy and time efficient every single week, you can take this free quiz that's going to show you what your superpower is in the kitchen and how you can lean into that to make things so much simpler for you. You can find a link to that in the description and in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.